Today I bought a $2,000 vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Blister collection. What's up guys, I am back with another collection purchase and today we have some vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! blisters. We're gonna be opening a couple of them as well. I can't even really remember what's in here. I know there's some really good stuff though, so let's get right to it. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three retro pack super rares. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, what do you think about this collection? I think you guys are gonna like this one. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Oh, what, what, what is this? Is that a brand new Dragon Master Magia case? Yes, it is. And we will be celebrating 250K YouTube subs on Whatnot for our final 250K celebration by opening a brand new case with you guys. And wait, what? Did that? Did this case come with something? Oh! $15 free money on Whatnot? So not only will we be allowing you guys to pull the Magia for me, thank you guys for helping me do my job, but secondly, you guys will get $15 free money on Whatnot if you guys are new users. Oh, and I didn't mention the best part. Check out the brand new Whatnot exclusive play mat that pictures our journey of what we've gone through. So if you guys want the new Whatnot exclusive, The Haunting of Ruxin play mat, Make sure you guys are there this Thursday at 4 p.m. Central on Whatnot for the 250K celebration because they will only be sold on Whatnot. Or you can go over to Whatnot right now early and get one for $10 using your $15 free credit. So use that $15 free money, get your special mat price on Whatnot, $25 a mat, and help me pull the Dragon Master Magia. And once again, that's this Thursday at 4 p.m. Central live on Whatnot. Don't miss it. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. So these are all like kind of in bubble mailers. Let's see what we have. Oh, I just punched something. We have a first edition. Some of these, or a lot of these are third party. I know a lot of them are kind of, you know, tentatively coming out of the blisters. So some of those will be ones that we open up. So this is a first edition IOC pack. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a Rise of Destiny third party blister. It's an unlimited actually, which is pretty rare for Rise of Destiny. Then we have first edition Elemental Energy. That's pretty, that's the original blister actually. But by the time they got the GX, they started doing kind of boring ones. It's just the color. It doesn't have like, you know, the flame, shining flare wing man, like all throughout the blister, which is what they used to do on the old school ones, which was really cool. I wish they would have kept doing that. So obviously we're off to a great start here. Let's see what else that we have inside. We have a Soul the Duelist first edition very cool bonus ultra or super rare cards this is not an official one i don't think i think this is another third party yeah you could probably see here it says repackaged by smb collectibles okay looks like the rest of these are as well so we have a rise of destiny there's a card coming out of there <laughs> rise of destiny first edition also repackaged probably by the same people third one is another soul of the duelist yeah i'll bet basically all of these are coming undone so it's kind of i didn't quite realize that at the beginning i think he told me later a lot of them were more loose and or some of them were loose or something but let's see about these how do these look First edition IOC, that one actually looks pretty good. Looks like it's actually sealed and everything. First edition Invasion of K, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. So it, some of these nice ones may be for sale on Ruxin34.com, so keep an eye out there. The ones that are actually like still sealed and stuff like that, uh, like that one looks pretty good. It looks like the IOC overall are pretty nice. So we're gonna pull those aside. We have one, two, three, and four Invasion of Chaos. So wow, that is... That's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Invasion of Chaos Blisters, I don't know if I've really had many of those throughout the years, so that's pretty exciting to actually have some of those. We have more Invasion of Chaos, first edition, I mean, man. It has Demok on the back, so like, look, that's what I meant, like, they have the extended monster art, you know, cover card, it like basically did it throughout the entire blister, which is really awesome looking, and it's on the back. And there's not one, not two, not three, but four of those Invasion of Chaos blisters in addition to the other four. So we already have eight Invasion of Chaos so far, which is pretty exciting. Those are gonna be the Invader of Darkness blisters. You know, you're not gonna get CED out of those because they are retail, I believe. I think that's how that works. So there is that, you know, it's not as great as having a CED pack, but it is still amazing. Demock and BLS, all that stuff. Then we have, oh baby, a big one. This one looks, is this a reseal? Either that or they miss they put it in the wrong spot look i'm not gonna lie this looks this looks like somebody made it it looks like the print i barely i didn't pay much for this it was like ten dollars or something but this is 
literally looks like it's like a, a, a somebody like remade it. It feels completely different. So there's two of these. So this one, see, it's not even sealed in the middle. Yeah, so I'll, for these, I don't really think that there is, uh, you know, too much value to these anyway. But if they have a Canyon Moth inside, it makes it worth it. You know, that's definitely worth 10 bucks, you know, each. All right, we have a few more. Let's see. Uh, more than a few more, actually. Uh, we have the third party dark beginning one so that's pretty cool contains two Yu-Gi-Oh stack packs what's a stack pack oh the stack pack oh wow i forgot about those the stack packs in there that's kind of fun okay so there's there's a couple of these bonus ultra or super rare card as well so there's a super rare card oh that doesn't have the stack pack the other one has the stack pack and then this one also has this ultra or super rare. where are the stack packs we want the stack packs give us the stack packs come on what's up with that all right more blisters to come guys it's an interesting array of blisters here. We've got another one that has a card escaping it. The Rise of Destiny. This one's taped together, so that obviously is not sealed. <laughs> taped together, you know, that's basically a loose pack at that point. Uh, okay. A, it could include an obelisk that... Wait, whoa. If it actually included a obelisk, like... Is that a GBI or a JMP? Either one would be insane. I doubt it, though. Look at the back. I mean, the back. You, it's kind of a bad spoiler, because that would be blue on the back, right? So it's, it's kind of funny. Oh, wait, we see something there. You can see what card that is. I see Beast. I see Beast. Okay, we might have to look at some of these later. We'll, we'll, we'll probably go through all the open ones and see what's inside. Uh, Soul the Duelist First Edition. Also very cool. There's still a few packages left, guys. So we got a lot going here. And uh, oh, yeah, here we go. We got an Ancient Sanctuary. This is not First Edition, but it definitely seems pretty minty. I, I mean... The, when they're bent like this, it actually normally means that they've been in a case for a long time. A lot of the ones I get case case fresher like this, they're kind of warped a little bit, but they're usually sealed pretty well. So there's a couple of those unlimited. Then there are some exclusive packs, which I think these will probably be on my website. So an exclusive pack, blister packs. So that is cool. Those always have the same cards inside. Sometimes people buy those and they're like, oh, I didn't know they had the same cards. They have the same cards every time. They are basically the structure slash starter decks of blister packs is what, or booster packs is what they are. So, oh, here we go. We've got some dark crisis first edition. That's pretty sweet. A little bit messed up on that one, but really, really cool. That one seems pretty nice. The dark crisis. There's another one right there. First edition. First edition dark crisis is not that easy to come by. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe because it was kind of a, a lull in Yu-Gi-Oh right before IOC came out and kind of after a lot of people quit that, you know, the early, early people quit. You know, a lot of us quit before Dark Crisis. I don't think I did, actually, but a lot of people did. OK, still a few more. We're not done yet, guys. We've got more Soul of the Duelist third party blisters. This is going to be a fun video whenever we open up a bunch of these. These are definitely opening up already. We're going to open up a bunch or uh, a few today as well. So there's a few more of those. All right. Another box or another mailer. These are oh man. These are all taped together. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to see about that because they're not really blisters if they're taped together, right? They're, they're literally taped together. So, uh, yeah. OK, let's see. Yeah, that that one is falling. Up. So they're all these have tape on them. So they're basically just loose packs. Uh, okay, and that one, yeah, those, that one's, that one's holding on, sort of. All right, here we go. We have one more, which is, is this a special edition? I think this is a special edition. So we have a Rise of Destiny special edition. First edition packs inside, which is re the really cool part about Rise of Destiny. Plus, you can get the Dark Magician Girl inside. So there's a lot of cool stuff in Rise of Destiny. It's a very nice special edition. Got a lot of cool stuff going on. Is that it? That might be it. Okay, that looks like it. So let's go through. I'm going to open a couple of these that are just like literally taped on. Like this one's literally taped. So let's just see what the these are inside. Let's open a little Rise of Destiny. Let's see what the promo card is. Could be anything. What do you guys think? See scuffing on the back. So I'm guessing it's a another Rise of Destiny card. Oh, the Andro Sphinx. Oh, one of the rarest cards ever made. Andro Sphinx Ultra Rare. Okay, okay. Uh, let's check out this Rise of Destiny pack. Let's open it up. First edition. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare. We've already pulled Dekoichi recently. Be cool to get a hobby, a hobby pack. I don't know if it is. I mean, it's a third party, so it could be anything. Four from the back. Element Saurus. I recently had to use this in Wield Goat. Creator Incarnate. The Woodborg. I tried. I almost used this in Wield Goat as a meme. Uh, Moki Moki King. Harpy Lady 2. Tactical Espionage Expert, Element Magician, Harpy Sunning Ground, and Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. Just a rare. All right, let's do this Soul of the Duelist next, because literally, 
yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's done. So I'm guessing third party probably break over a little easier because they are third party, not the official ones. Let's see what this is. This going to be another Sphinx? Kaiser, hey, first edition Kaiser Seahorse. I have starter deck Kaiba Evolution, which by the way, I do have sealed starter deck Kaiba Evolution on Ruxon34.com. If you guys want those, I have a lot of sealed starter decks available over there. Case fresh. I opened them up myself, so most of them look really, really good. Let's go check that out on Ruxon34.com. And speaking of, let's try to pull something amazing out of Soul of the Duels. I mean, Horus is in here, whether it's four, six, or eight, depending on if it's retail or not. Those are all really amazing. Arm dragons are in here. Some good stuff. We got the Nobleman Eater Bug. And when he gets even better, the Nobleman Eater Bug. Graveyard in the fourth dimension. Let's see what we can pull. Element Soldier. Heavy Slump. Neo Aquamador. The Aquamador upgrade. Just tribute set this guy. He's Millennium Shield with attack points. Uh, level up. Cool card. We have the Red Eyes B Chick. Someone who's asking me about one of these, so I'll pull it out for him. Taunt. And Mind on him. All right, so we tried on the... Okay, we have another Soul of the Duels falling apart. So you know what? It's already broken. Why not give it a chance? Why not just give it a chance? We have the... Oh, come on, card. Another Kaiser Sea. That's an unlimited. So we didn't even get the first head this time. That's a bummer. $5.94. That's how much it cost me. I wish. First edition. Can we pull something? Oh, level up again. I'll take that. Can we get an ultimate rare right here? Would be really cool. Mass Dragon's also a really cool uh, goat card. Neil Aquamador, if you're going to play that dragon deck. The Absolute End. You can only activate this card during your opponent's turn. This turn, the attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct attacks to your life points. Isn't there one of these that's a continuous spell? I thought there was a continuous spell, one of those. Ultimate Baseball Kid. He's the fire monster. Level up. Red Eyes B Chick again. We got two of those. Taunting. Taunt, taunt, taunt. What is it going to be? Unshaven Angler. I remember I used to try to use this card uh, back in the day. I would always make different decks, you know, with attributes and stuff. And this guy, you know, you can summon a two tribute water. Not terrible, I guess. And. Oh, that would have been such a nice ulti. Horse of Black Flame Dragon level four. Okay, we're over three so far, so we're not starting off too great. All right, I definitely want to open this one. Even though this one's not coming open, I want to get to the stacks packs. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to open up this dark beginning one. Oh, it is coming open, actually. Perfect. Okay, so it's coming open. We have stack packs right here. We're going to save these for after we do the, uh, the dark beginning one pack. You know what? No, we won't. We'll do them first. So inside the stack packs, which are classic items, three stacks, you get these like little hollow things. I remember this Beaver Warrior, Exodia there, and Yugi are the ones they're showing you. Let's see what we get in here. All right, man, this is old school Yu-Gi-Oh! like uh, merchandise. Uh, this is classic. They were just making everything. And we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's go. Then we got a Force Raider. It's a Kaiba pack. And is it going to be Kaiba, I guess? And Gate Guardian. Holy crap, these are magnets. You're going up on my fridge right after this. I don't know how Chelsea's going to feel, but that's like an ultra rare right there. Check that. It's got like hollow to it. The stacks. Stacks number 26, number 72, and number 67. Stacking it up, baby. Blue eyes, white dragon. That'll go, go in our garage fridge, bro. <laughs> the real fridge probably, yeah, it's probably not going to be allowed, unfortunately. All right, that's pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. What are the rarities on here? Does it tell you? Not suitable for children under three years of age. Okay, we should be fine there. I think I'm older than that. 100 stacks plus 100 mega stacks. What's, what's a mega stack? Does that mean like the, the blue eyes, like the nice pulls? Let's see what we get on stack number two right here. We need to have this whole stack booster box opening or something. I can't get this up. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Like that. There we go. Okay, Thousand Dragon. There we go. That's our super hollow rare. We got a uh garuzis and we have a flame swordsman joey wheeler it's definitely a joey pack right there those are all joey cards all right nice pulls out of the stacks now let's see how the uh, dark beginning one can stack up against it okay okay let's just keep going pretend like i didn't say that let's see about dark beginning one can we pull something cool right here Let's, uh, I don't know how to, okay, this is just splitting right here. I'm just going to do this, like, like that's actually going to work. Molten Destruction, Jam Reading Machine, my eye is itching. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a blue eyes right here. Darb getting one. We just, uh, did a bunch of stuff, or, uh, did a lot for these. Okay, a rare. Oh, okay. Okay, Exodia. We sold a bunch of Dark Beginning 1 cards on Whatnot the other day, so. Go check out Whatnot. We've been doing some single streams. It's been super fun. Okay, this one's taped across the middle, so let's see about this one. Let's get that card out. Come here. 
Come here, card. <gasps> SDY Dark Magician! Okay! That's pretty sick. It has some damage to it. That's not bad. SDY Dark Magician. This must have been packaged a long time ago because 2004. Wow, Dark Magician SDY, that was first edition, can you imagine? I, there's no way it'd have been first edition. Surely not. Okay, Rise It, that's pretty cool, actually. That's one of the best promos I've ever gotten out of a third party pack. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet, and SDY Dark Magician is nice. Okay, four from the back, we have Ballista, Pitch Black Warwolf. We have Roots, Harby Lady One, Mirage Dragon, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Harby Girl, Mine Axrix and covering fire. So we have not actually pulled off. I want to pull off foil before we stop. Okay, there's another destroyed one here. Let's see if we can get another SDY Dark Magician. That's what I'm trying to do. Andro Sphinx. That's so much worse. Okay. <laughs> they're kind of all, like back then they were kind of on the same tier because they're both like kind of promos, but SDY Dark Magician is age way better, obviously. Okay, just give us a super rare or something. Let's get something out of here. An ulti would be nice, though. I'd feel really good about that. Fubrik is on. Black Warwolf, we have Moki Moki. I'd take an Ultra Creator as well, or Perfect Machine King. Harpy Sounding Ground, Harpy Girl, Homunculus. A Team Shroud was supposed to be a unit. Come on! I need to stop. Okay, we got another taped one. Here's the thing. We got... Where's our bonus card? We got rigged. Where's our bonus card? It came out! No bonus card! We got screwed on this one, guys. We got screwed on this one. No bonus card. One, two, three, four. Come on, last card. Be something good. We got Invasion of Flames. Foxfire. Ballista. Pitch Black Warwolf. Creeping Doom Manta. Harpy Lady 2. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician. And Flint. Oh my gosh. What are we like? 0 for 7. This is brutal. You know what we need to open that we haven't opened? Is one of these weird, like, fake looking blisters. Because we can get the Pecania Moth, okay? This has turned into a blister opening, guys. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Because, you know. <laughs> blister opening, baby. All right, let's see. Did they even make blisters for these? I really don't know, but they're pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If they did. Give us the one card we want. There's one card we want out of here. I just bumped the camera. Sorry about that. One card we want. Little Swords and a Veil. Block Attack. Cocoon of Evolution. Uh, uh, Musician King, I think. Uh, Tremendous Fire. We have, that's just Trent. What is this guy called? Faith Bird. Uh, I can't remember this guy. Armored Zombie. No! Fake Trap! I should have known! This whole opening's a fake trap. Ah. Oh. Not even a Pecania Rock. Okay, we are 0 for 8. You know what I think it's time for? It's time to open up one of these IOC. We got to open up an IOC, right? Let's try to pick up the most beat up one. That one's a little beat up. Yeah, that one is basically opened already. I mean, some of these are a little sus. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we're going to open this one and find out because obviously this one, this one is pretty beat up. Let's see. Let's see about this. It looks yeah, it's kind of sketchy, like somebody would have pulled it out, you know, waited or something. If we pull a foil here, I'll be wrong. I'd be glad to be wrong. Let's see. We're 0 for 8 already. So a lot of these have not had foils, which is not a great start. We just need a foil and I'll feel better about all this. Give us a Dimension Fusion, a BLF. Do I see a bent card right there? I thought that I saw like an actual bend. Okay, please don't be a Dark Magician Girl situation. BLS, Demock, Dimension Fusion. Those are the big three. Invader of Darkness, that'd be great because I've never pulled that before. So I'd be happy. At first edition, at least. Thing in the Creator, we have Energy Drain. Chaos Sorcerer, first edition. That's cool. I'll pull that out for a goat. Blasting Ruins. Neobug. Salvage. Very expensive blister. Can there be something big in here? Sylphid. Demok. Anybody? I've never pulled it. <laughs> Reload. Okay. Reload. We got a foil. We got a foil, everybody. That's a good way to end. I know it's only a super rare, but this is a pretty cool foil. First edition. Centering looks pretty good. Might be able to grade this thing. It's a little warped, I think we could tell on the side. I thought it was actually bent for a second. Pretty nice card. Okay, very nice. So we have other blisters. A lot of them, oh, some of these ones that are falling open, we're going to open those up in videos. IOC, I'm probably going to be selling the other ones unless I decide that I want to 
you know, hang on to them and open them up. I haven't decided yet, but as we saw, they do it. They have a foil inside, which is great. And that was the messed up one. So keep an eye on Ruxin34.com if you guys want to buy anything. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Ernesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.